If, if you get elected, you're still going to be one guy in a legislature of how many people? 80. 80. And why would, say, the Democrats listen to you? No different than today as I speak, three of my colleagues on the Board of Supervisors are Democrats. So we're a minority, two Republicans, three Democrats. And we've been able to balance the budget here locally. It's the same principle that allows that you got to be fiscally responsible, fiscally conservative, and socially responsible and be able to work. It's not a matter of Democrat or Republican. It's a matter of how can we serve the state best and our citizens. And uh, my last question, well, actually two more questions. The first one, you got a lot of uh, your campaign contribution, a large one, from the San Luis Cattlemen's uh, uh, Political Action Committee. And I'm kind of wondering, what do the, uh, what do cattle ranchers and farmers in general see in you that I guess they like? Do you, or do you have a, a guess? Yeah, yes, of course I do. For the 12 years that I've been working with them, I've been very supportive of agriculture, and that's their butter and bread. And they've seen me time after time to be supportive of their causes, and that's why they support me. And if you look at our industry, not just in our county, but state ones, agriculture, number one industry, as is tourism. So they, we want to be sure that they get all the help they can to keep them in business, with them being in business and successful, they're putting a lot of money into our coffers, which help us to balance the budget. They're business people, they're hardworking men and women, they're Californian taxpayers, and they're supporting me for the reasons that they know. All these years, I brought my business mentality, business common sense into the decision-making process, and they love to see that happen on the capital level. That's why they're supporting me as they are. All right, um, last question. Um, say, tell me, one thing you like about Matt Coconut and one thing you don't like about Matt Coconut? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked that question, but I don't feel like I have to answer it, to be honest with you, because I'm here to tell you about what I know, what I don't know, who would I be, and probably Mr. Coconut best answer that question for you. Yeah, right. I don't mean to disappoint you, but I have kept my head above water and chose not to say anything bad about any of the, my opponents. They're all good people, they mean well, and I wish them well. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're um, Let's see.